guys, what's up? It's Master Tim, Gorilla Hep Keto. Tonight, we're gonna take some Hep Keto techniques and we're gonna kinda modify them or fine tune them so we can restrain and hold someone instead of just hurting them and breaking their hand. And here's why. Because if you're relying on a wrist technique or a takedown that depends on uh, pain compliance, how do you know that what you're anticipating that person's pain compliance is where it needs to be at? Maybe they have a shorter pain compliance, maybe they have a higher pain compliance, maybe you just break their wrist before you are ready for it and they flop around like a dead fish and knock your teeth out. So here's another way to use your hep keto wrist locks to take someone down and restrain them. Taho Jitsu. <laughs> Why is that important? Two reasons. 
Reason number one, if this was on the street and I was working on resistance or restraining, I want to use my surroundings, a garbage can, a wall, a heavy bag floating out of anywhere. So if I was relying straight on pain compliance, he might break and not fall into the wall. But if I'm holding something that's just body mechanics, I can use that to bring them right into the part that I want to hold them on. Now, if I use the forearm, I can take them down, I can restrain them, and I can actually use my PCS or my C, my communication. Hey, stand right here. I need a cop. I need a cop. I need some help. But if I think I'm going to take someone down and rely on 100% pain compliance to restrain them, they're going to be flapping in pain like a dead fish. <laughs> He's putting arms up, he's holding me. I'm not gonna be able to talk to him, tell him to calm down and call for the cops, because I'm still fighting him. Versus, if I was just holding him by his forearm, I would be able to hold him, restrain him, and call for the cops. So there you have it, just something to think about. Hope you like it. A little gorilla, half keto, move up. <laughs> Like I was saying, a little gorilla had keto to a hoe. Whoa! Right there, he's probably been smoking a little bit of crack today. 